Jamaat Ahmadiyya Belize brings to you another exciting episode of Points to Ponder. This week, the head of the worldwide Ahmadiyya Muslim community spoke about the significance of Ramadan. Let's begin our show. It states in the Holy Quran, And when my servant asks thee about me, say, I am near. I answer the prayer of the supplicant when he prays to me, so they should hearken to me and believe in me that they may follow the right way. His Holiness, may Allah be his helper, said that by the grace of Allah, we are passing through the month of Ramadan. It is a month for the acceptance of prayer, as God has announced that with his mercy, prayers will be especially accepted during this month. One strives to attain God's pleasure during this month and to attain his blessings. Hence, we even abstain from food and drink. As the Holy Prophet may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon him said, God informed him that the gates of heaven are flung open and the gates of hell are shut. As Satan is shackled during this month, certainly during this month there are those who still commit vices. Therefore, when it is stated that Satan is chained up during this month, it is a manner of God admonishing us, that if we abstain from even that which is permissible for us, such as food and drink, For his sake, then God has chained Satan for such people and has taken them under his protection. Let us now take a look at how we can strive to have our prayers accepted. The promised Messiah, may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, said that one cannot attain God's pleasure and nearness through laziness and slackness. Rather, true effort is required. One must analyze to see whether they have truly undertaken the required struggle in prayer. Then they must also analyze the manner in which they pray, because God says, Those who truly strive in His path, who strive to attain His nearness with sincerity and strive to fulfill His commandments, then He surely answers their prayers. One should not become disheartened, as in the case in trying to attain anything. The doors of attaining the nearness and pleasure of God are open, but require effort to get through. If we don't constantly nurture plants, they will become lifeless. So too is the case with our faith. May Allah enable us all to derive full benefit from the weekly Friday sermon of His Holiness, the head of the worldwide Ahmadiyya Muslim community. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. <laughs> Inni maka ya masroo